So this is the U console from Clockwork Pi, a really compact handheld computer with built-in Raspberry Pi Compute Module 4. So now for all those who don't know about this company then Clockwork is a company that makes such handheld open source computer and this was their first product called as Game Shell Kit and later they launched this product called as Datum which looks like an actual computer with that full size keyboard and a mouse pointer with a big screen. And now this is the latest product called as U console and in this video we're gonna have a look over about how to assemble this complete kit to make a computer and we'll also have a look about what kind of tasks we can perform using this compact computer. So let's straight away jump onto the unboxing part. So this is how you will receive the product and now let's open it up straight away. So this is delivered in a complete kit form in which we get to see the top case first of all with the clockwork branding on it. And this is made up of complete metal. Then we get this complete assembly guide which has the pictorial representation of how to assemble all the parts in this kit. Next we get a thermal pad inside it which we need to attach on compute module 4 to avoid overheating. Then we have a complete set of keyboard with its buttons, a 5 inch 720p IPS display. And furthermore, we get a shell which is black in color and again, this is also made up of complete aluminum metal. Then we get a stand, a metallic back cover and some screws. Then below all these things, we get one antenna for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity, a Raspberry Pi Compute Module 4, 18650 battery holder board, then we get the main board on which all the attachments will be connected, a SD card, and then we get an extension PCB for cellular connectivity. Now this product comes in a two different variant. One is with Wi-Fi and other is the Wi-Fi plus 4G cellular connectivity. Now in my case, I'm having the Wi-Fi only variant. So that's why the PCB which we got has no component shouldered on it. But if you go for Wi-Fi plus 4G cellular, you'll be getting all the cellular related components already shouldered in this extension PCB. After that, we get the adapter PCB which will help us to connect the compute model 4 with our main board. Then we get this roller ball trackpad which we saw in some older Blackberry phones. Further, we have two small speakers one hex key for screws and one transparent plastic button cap. So that's all you get in this complete kit. And now it's time to start the assembly. So we'll start with inserting the display in the shell and then we'll place the keyboard panel on the place. Now here we have an extra button cap so we'll cut it out and put these keys on the top. Now we'll place the rollerball trackpad on the dedicated spot and put the top case of the product on it. Finally, we'll attach the screws to fix this up. Now let us keep it aside and take the main PCB board, the compute module and the adapter PCB. So first I'll insert the compute module 4 on the adapter PCB and then insert this adapter PCB in our main board at this slot. Now this feels exactly like adding some extra RAM in our computer's motherboard. Then we'll take the main top case and here first we'll insert the button cap. Now here you can insert any of the two caps like the transparent one or the black one. In my case, I'm using the black one to match the color of the base. So after that button, we inserted the main PCB and adjusted it to be at the proper position. Then we took the small speakers and attached at the proper spots. Now I'm not sure how loud the speakers are going to be, but I will soon figure it out during the testing part. So after the speakers, I attached this extension PCB for 4G module. Now, even though I don't have the 4G module on it, still I need to connect the PCB to make the connections of my speaker with the main board. After connecting everything properly, we fixed them all with the help of screws and then inserted this display belt and this connector. Now it's time to connect the antenna. So first, we inserted this antenna from this slot and sticked it here. Later, we connected it to the compute module. Now after that, we put the battery holder at a proper place and fix that using the screws. Now I was already having a couple of 18650 batteries with me, so I inserted them in the holder. Further, we added the thermal pad on the compute model 4 and that's it. We finally attached the back cover on it, fixed it up with the screws and attached a stand at the proper spot and fixed them up again with the screws. And with this, we are done with the complete assembly of our U console. So after this, I'll insert the SD card and now let's just try to power it up and let's see if the SD card already has some Raspbian OS in it or not. 
So to power it up, we just need to press and hold the power button for a couple of seconds and voila! It got powered up so the SD card do comes with a pre-booted OS in it. And trust me, the display quality is really amazing. You're gonna love it for sure. Okay, so now here we need to set up a Raspberry Pi. So let's see how's the experience of using this small computer. So here I can use the roller ball to move the mouse pointer and can use this left and right button acting as a left and right mouse click. The roller ball experience is quite satisfying, really. Also using this keyboard feels exactly like typing on a smartphone and well you need to use both your thumbs to type anything on it. But the design is quite convenient like it doesn't feel too broad to hold in your hands and type it out, at least in my hand. So after providing all the basic details and Wi-Fi credentials, the Raspberry Pi got rebooted and now it's ready for use. So now here, the first and foremost thing which I need to test is its built-in speaker. So I quickly opened up YouTube on this computer and started playing one of my videos. It's the single biggest change in Raspberry Pi, uh, in the commercial part of Raspberry Pi. So speaker quality is not that loud. But anyways, we do have an audio jack with this board so we can connect external speaker or else we can also connect some Bluetooth speaker with it so it's not an issue. Now talking about the performance then, I was able to play a YouTube video on this computer without any buffering or lagging. So you can definitely use this compact computer to show your videos or presentations. Okay, so now let's have a look over what kind of features we get inside this device and in its built-in OS. So this device do have its own custom OS which supports the multifunctional keyboard with a lot of shortcuts. Like you can increase and decrease the brightness of the display using these button combinations. And trust me, the maximum brightness of the display is good enough to work on this computer directly under the sky. Then you can increase and decrease the volume with the help of this button combinations. Also the keyboard has backlight in it which you can turn on and off with these button combinations. And as this device runs on a battery, we do have a battery percentage indicator at the top right corner of the device. Also you can easily get this custom OS built on the Raspbian OS from their GitHub repository whose link I'll be providing you in the description of this video. Now as this compact computer got all the ports with it, let us try to attach an external display, keyboard and mouse. So here I am connecting the USB dongle for mouse and keyboard and further connecting the HDMI cable for the display. And now I can use this U console as a dock and I can do whatever task I want to perform in it but now in a bigger screen and with a bigger keyboard. Baby. Now being an IoT and electronics project maker, whenever I make a new project I always need to debug that project using the Arduino serial monitor just to know what's going inside the microcontroller. Now sometimes the project is located at such a weird location that it's not practically convenient for me to debug that project using my laptop all alone. But with the help of this device, I guess my task will be a lot easier. So let's check it out. So here I already installed the Arduino ID on my U console and here is one of my IoT project running successfully. So if I want to debug it, I can easily connect a USB cable with this board, connect it with my U console, select the right COM port on Arduino and open up the serial monitor. And now here I can visualize everything what's going inside the microcontroller and maybe if there are some minor changes need to be done in the code, I can do it in this device itself and upload the code a super duper convenient device for such kind of applications and maybe I think this device is made for such programmers and hackers because this is a super compact computer yet super powerful. So I think I'll definitely be using this computer for this kind of applications quite often. So yeah, that was the U console from Clockwork Pi, a really useful compact computer for programmers, hackers, and sometimes for entertainment. I hope you like this product and I hope you like this video as well. And if it's it so, well, do click the like button and share your thoughts regarding this product down in the comments of the video. Well, that will help the YouTube algorithm to recommend this video to other potential viewers. So yeah, that being said, I am just ending this video here and now just wait for my next video. Until then, explore, learn, share with me, Techie SMS.